Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain Z transform of unit impulse function. So, first I'll explain you what if I consider in x of n is equals to impulse function del of n, then Z transform of x of n that I need to write it as x of z. So that is Z transform of x of n and basic formula of z transform is summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite x of n into z to the power minus n and if i place x of n is equals to impulse function then you can say that is del of n z to the power minus n now if you observe what is impulse function then impulse function In impulse function, we will be observing you have sample at origin only for other values. Value is 0. So impulse is happening at n is equals to 0. For other values, it is 0. So whenever you do this calculation, like see for negative infinity terms, you will be finding if I say summation is happening right from negative infinity and del of if I say minus 2 into z to the power 2 plus del of minus 1 into z to the power 1 plus del of 0 into z to the power 0 plus del of 1 into z to the power 1 plus minus 1 plus del of 2 into z to the power of minus 2 plus up to this is how this summation will happen. But here one can observe at n is equals to 0 only there is a sample. So only this term that is equals to 1 other terms are 0. So you will be observing it is 0 into z square 0 into z to the power 1 plus 1 into z to the power 0 plus again 0 into z to the power minus 1 and so on. So all these terms that will get eliminated and you will be observing 1 into z to the power 0 that is 1. So z transform of unit impulse function that is unity it is 1. So in some competitive examination you will be finding this type of question is coming. So one can directly reply impulse functions Z transform is 1. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on it in future I will make videos which will be solving your queries.